Hi, I'm here to speak with you about the 6R60 and 6R80 thermal bypass valve and the ETE additive where we do have the thermal bypass valve with the spring and also where we do add the cylinder showing that the bypass valve is going to be fully compressed, the spring will be compressed, and that just means that we are going to have constant cooler flow. So with this, I know we are used to the Ford ones where it was the solid state and then it would have kind of like a rod coming down, but now we have moved on to the spring. So basically, I see a lot of installing where we are going to install it into the case and then we are going to go in through the second cooler hole. This is just a tip to help you keep it in there. Of course, you can always add the cylinder on top to help ease and you can stick this in to the bottom cooler hole passage for the cooler line. And then of course we can apply our grease here on this side that is going to go over the thermal bypass valve. And then we can apply our grease there. We can install it into there. And then of course we bolt on our valve body. And then after the valve body is bolted on, we can pull our pick out of the cooler line and then we can install the pan and we are good to go.